Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my Let's Play of King Dugan's Dungeon Light, a Flash Draw. Uh, and I'm having a lot of fun so far. We just finished up this uh, Mimic Arrangement puzzle. If it looks like I'm having an easy time with these puzzles, it's because, in essence, I have played the original King Dugan's Dungeon. You can watch my videos on that, and these aren't too much different. Um, they're kind of squished puzzles, but I have a, a pretty good understanding of the fundamentals. Some of the uh, secret rooms are very new from the original game. Very, I don't know how you can be very new as opposed to kind of new, but not a big deal. <laughs> um, I'm still having a lot of fun with it. Um, I think it's a pretty good accomplishment. Does this room have an achievement? I feel like it does. Yes, have good style. <laughs> that is that is the achievement here. Holy hoobuffins! Holy hoobuffins! There is such a thing as too many mimics. I disagree completely. So this is all about creating an army wall. Uh, mimics. Like, yeah. Such that it is a veritable killing machine. Ooh, I don't know if I wanted to do that. There we go. Uh, mimics are funny in how they respond to each other. There's some good holds on how they interact with each other, but, um, like, like uh, advanced concepts, user made holds. Uh, and there's my good style. Get them all parked in there like that. Uh huh. If you have good style, all nine mimics will be lined up to the right of you. And they are. And now they're killing each other because they are traitorous. Very traitorous. Okay. Oops. Mashing. The way my hand rests on this new keyboard I have is right on the tab button, and, some, and it's very light to the touch. Not that I'm complaining, but sometimes it makes me bring up my um, my achievement tab a little too frequently. Okay. Now I also see that there's a secret wall over here that I should probably. Uh, find a way to get to, which would m probably involve me getting out there. So, what's this one do? I'm gonna definitely hit this one on the way out. And, nope, not that one. This one. Now I should have a free run at it. Okay. Secret found. Okay, in the original King Duke and Sunshine. a secret chamber where everyone but me least expects it. <laughs> Uh, master wall. This is this is the the, uh, the construction zone master walls I was mentioning before. It won't open until you conquer all the holds and all the secrets. It's a bonus for uh, the people who do the non-required rooms. Fifty-eight. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure the significance of that. In the original, this was three uh three numbers long, and it helped you do like sort of a Mario Brothers warp pipe to a to a given level based upon a couple of things. But this time, it serves as the master door, and I'm sure whatever this says over here would. Uh, Help me understand better, but um, I will get back to that later because I have not uh, managed to unlock the master door yet. So now I need to get out of here, and I have a few more rooms to do on this particular floor. So let's go find them. Which one unlocks the? Okay. It was about this time in this game, because these are like more genuine puzzles as opposed to just straight up killing of random things. As I go into a room, that's a lot of straight up killing of random things. <laughs> um, but the puzzles became more puzzly, and uh, let me just go to a defendable position here. Notice that I can't defend this diagonal. Just, roaches can go across diagonals just like you. Oh, whoops, there we go, mashing my button again. There we go, and now I'm going to... let's see... I don't know if I can do this one without using the Mimic Potion. Is there an achievement that says something about it? Out drinking oneself on each without drinking the Mimic Potion. Alright. I guess there is a way, so I'm going to have to figure out how to do it. I am naturally, naturally curious about that. Oh, that's not going to work. Hmm. That's not going to work either. How is this supposed to happen without drinking the Mimic Potion? Hmm. A good puzzle. I like, can't go through this room at all then, because I would drink the Mimic Potion the second I, I, I stepped on the... That's not it. I'm not exactly 100% sure how to do this one. Great, now I am uh, stumped. Let's see. I can't 
can't really like retreat back into the room here, so how is this supposed to work out? I would expect like maybe if I, I use an alternate entrance or something like that, but this is uh nothing like that at all. Hmm. I might have to do this one later. So I just don't see it right away. Without drinking the mimic potion. I can't enter from hmm. sure I don't have any idea. Anyway, I'm going to do it with the Mimic Potion once to uh, make my life better. <laughs> with the Mimic Potion it's incredibly easy. But now I'm shy one achievement. Hmm. Oh, this is an interesting one. Uh, I have to be able to place the Mimic Potion in here, obviously, because I can't retreat across this Force Arrow here, and get the Mimic to go to the... Do I have to drop all the trapdoors? Yes. Alright. And get the... Uh, I don't have to, but it's an achievement. The Mimic 2. Alright. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to take a few steps back here. Alright, now. Now that I've got my exit, I'm going to try to clear out the rest of these trapdoors. Trapdoor puzzles are a secret vice of mine. I really, really like them. <laughs> they are one of my favorites of all kinds of puzzles. Okay, so there we go. That's not too hard of a puzzle. You just kind of have to plan a little bit. Honestly, they'll become much, much harder in later packs. Which I'm excited for, because uh, I've not seen those at all. Here's my exit, so that's not what I want. There should be another room over here. Yes, I always thought this one was interesting laid out. In order to handle the squish and the complexity of this room, they actually had to throw away the outer walls. Um, but it's not too bad. Um, you'll see that I have like three separate puzzles to do, which end up in resulting in allowing me to escape this room. So I place the Mimic inside the roach so that I can kill it, or inside the roach area. And then I have a small, tiny, tiny, tiny room in which to work. Ooh, not like that. On the rest of my stuff. And I have to be smart with my movements and just general things like that. Alright, and then I can ignore it for the rest of it. Then I leave, and oops, and I do it all again, except with this room this time. And I'll place this one opens the middle door, so I will place the mimic in the middle door connecting roach. Like so. And Oops, I wonder if I can just step down this way. Uh, maybe? Like, there we go, perhaps. There we go. Oops. I've never been a huge fan of the way that the sound that uh, hitting an orb makes. <laughs> that, uh, I don't know why, it just has never settled well with me. I'm perhaps too picky. I need to get over myself. Just need to get over myself. Alright. Uh, there we go. That's the hook I wanted. And I can go over here. And... or so I thought. There we go. Okay, now I'm free. I have one minute left in which to this one. This is an interesting room because I only have a little ring in which to travel around in. Okay, so now the room's technically done. So I'm going to... There we go. i got to keep walking back and forth to uh, meander my way into things. Like, yeah. Alright. This is not where I want to be. I do not want to cross back across this force arrow. That's not good at all. But I would be okay with doing this. Yes. And up, oh, and I'm free again. Okay, cool. Now the room is done, and I've pretty much run out of time on my video. Hey, look. Except I didn't quite get all my achievements done. Uh, I'm going to end the video now. Um, I will see what happens when I cross this threshold on my next one. This has been your host, Pearls, doing King Dugan's Dungeon Light, Flash Drod, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.